Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to Learning with Miss Nancy. And I have a very exciting activity for you today. But before we begin our lesson, I'd like to know, have you had your water? No? Well, get your water so that we can sip together. You ready? Let's take a sip together. Ah, so refreshing. Let's take another sip together. Wonderful. And remember to drink lots of water every day to stay hydrated and healthy. Now let's begin our lesson. Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Nancy. And today we're going to explore something amazing. Something that's all around us. Water. Did you know that water can change into three different forms? So let's go on a little water adventure right here in the house. Water can be liquid form. Look at the water coming out of the sink. Look at it. It's running from the sink, and this kind of water is called liquid water. Liquid water, you can splash it. You can fill up a cup with it. And you can pour it. Now, I want you to think about something. Can you think of other places where we can find liquid water? Take a moment and think. Now look at this. Water also can be solid. When water gets very cold, it freezes and becomes ice. Ice is hard and cold to the touch. Ice is solid water. Okay, boys and girls, I put water in this kettle and put it on the stove. And if you listen closely, you'll hear a whistle. Here it comes. Listen closely. You hear the whistle? This water is so hot that it's making another form of water called steam. Steam is water as a gas. And this water just rises higher and higher in the atmosphere as it gets hotter and hotter. You hear the whistle? Here it comes. Yes, and steam's coming out. Woo! You hear it? 
that water as a gas. When you cover steam, the droplets become liquid water. See the steam coming out? So today, boys and girls, we saw that water can be a solid, a liquid, and a gas. So keep that in mind as you watch the water change in your home from liquid water to solid water as in ice cubes or gas when you're putting on the tea kettle. And now I have some more liquid water right before you. I'm watering my grass. I'm using liquid water to do so. So thank you for watching Learning with Ms. Nancy. And remember to always think bigger earlier. Bye-bye.